Welcome back to Discover Wisconsin. Summer is officially here and we're about to hit the trails. First, however, Kevin and I had a golden ticket to Willy Wonka's Flavor Factory Store, more commonly known as Barris Brothers Coffee Roasters in Watertown, Wisconsin. It's gonna be a good day. I noticed some bikers out here. Are we near a trail? Yeah, we've got several bike trails that connect here through the, the city of Watertown for the county. We just finished phase one of the inner urban bike trail, which is gonna connect Watertown all the way to Oconomowoc. So I hear we're doing some biking today, which I'm really excited about. I love biking. Yeah. We gotta drink up first though. Yes, <laughs> yes we do. Here's the route we'll be biking today. We're currently at Barris Brothers. Just for reference, this is the new inner urban bike trail Kevin mentioned. Today, however, we'll start at the Red Cover Bridge and make our way up to Jones Dairy Farm in Fort Atkinson. Lastly, we'll walk across the street to Jones Park for some baseball. Come on. Hello. I'm sorry, good morning. My name is Pete Barris from Barris Brothers Coffee Roasters. I just oh, wanted hi. to drop off a sample of some of our exquisite flavors. I, how are you enjoying the coffee? It is amazing. amazing. You right. should pull up a chair. Yes. Yeah, come hang. Well, Pete, I've heard that you're the Willy Wonka of flavored coffee. How many flavors do you have here? So I think we're at about 39 right now we have. And then every three months we have seasonals that we bring four different coffees out. If you want to follow me into the flavor factory. Let's yes. go to the flavor factory. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to this espresso though. This place is so cool. It smells amazing. The coffee is so incredible. Thank you so much, Pete, for having You're us. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. And we're coffeeaholic, so we'll be back. Okay. Great. <laughs> A few cups of Flavor Factory fuel, and we were primed for our adventure. Quick shout out to Two Rivers and Fort Atkinson for hooking us up with trek bikes for the ride. Rockin' our Two Rivers gear, Kevin and I meet up with some Jefferson County locals at the Red Cover Bridge along the Glacial River Trail. Built in 2000 from early 1900s Barnwood, the Red Cover Bridge was designed to look like a train caboose to commemorate the history of the railroad track underlying the bike trail. Immersed in Wisconsin greenery, we ride like the wind, just as Marcy Rowan did, an avid biker who explored these trails before losing her life to cancer. Rowan is remembered by a statue along the path titled Ride Like the Wind. And what a place for exploration. It turns out that historic railroad I mentioned led to what is now known by locals as Jones Dairy Farm. All right, this is our stop. Thank you all for taking us with you. That was a lot of fun. Originally a rail car loading dock to the Chicago Northwestern Railroad, today Kevin and I would experience what is now an ice cream parlor and market. Take me back to the beginning. How did Jones Dairy Farm and Jones Market come to be? The dairy farm came first. Our great, great, great grandfather settled here in Fort Atkinson in the late 1830s. We're now seven generations involved in the business and the building behind us was our first manufacturing plant. This houses the Jones Market. So it's an integral part of who we are and what we do today. But this is where the community and the company intersect. And it happens right along the bike trail. If I stop in here in the morning, I'll visit with people. I'll never get any work done because so many people come to visit. Well, this was so wonderful. Thank you for having us and thank you for the ice cream. You're most welcome. Thank you. I would cheers you, but I'll just have to cheers Kevin, I guess. <laughs> We'll definitely be back. And although the screaming for some ice cream subsided, the cheering across the road did not. Kevin and I ran over to Jones Park to join in on Baseball Fest, where we cheered on the Generals baseball team. And it looks like I got to experience the railroad after all. What was once a busy railroad that transported goods for the Chicago Northwestern Rail Company now serves as a scenic bike trail system to connect people to nature, to Jefferson County towns, to the history that founded these routes, and of course, to each other. Coming up, we explore some wildlife while paddling the Rock River. 